the area to swarm and try to win it back immediately has paid dividends for them so far. Again, it's Leal and Lovitz. That high defensive line has become almost a norm in world football. Back pose! Zimmerman back side! It's over the line and in! The opening goal of the other last season! And it's been coming for Nashville! But hasn't made the initial save. Retreats now. Another might be a break there. And looked on. Schaffelberg making a run forward. Looked on. Looking in that direction. Still looked on. Still has it. Ball to Schaffelberg. In on goal. 2 0. Instant impact from the MVP. And Schaffelberg has sealed the victory for Nashville. The chip as opposed to just lacing through it, giving it a little bit more loft. You can see the body language of Pisado. He's apologizing right now, wiping his face. But he was in. Negri was sprung if he could have just let him directly with that chip. Pizarro, lovely turn from him. He's got two further forward. Pizarro trying to hold on to it himself. A little bit of contact. Play continues. Long range out. Bottom corner. An absolutely stunning strike from Jean. And Blake, one of the top goalkeepers in Major League Soccer, had absolutely no chance into Miami lead. Union just trying to get to grips with the new Inter Miami shape. Taylor. Nice ball inside. Mota. Taylor continues right oh. for the effort. That is a stunning strike from a man who's only been on the field about 15 seconds. Forget about goal of the week. That's a contender for goal of the season. Robert Taylor might have just won this game for Inter Miami. Allowing the fullbacks to get a little bit more, to get a little bit forward, and then creating some space centrally for this man here, Owen Wolf, and Danny Pereira to get the ball. Lovely ball out wide. Gallagher coming inside, long range, and in off the woodwork. Oh my! The fullback comes forward, and he could not have struck that any better. He salutes the traveling Austin FC fans, and they salute him back. Another opportunity for Brody. Full cross, they had it back in, Glad, and that one's crept over the line. Well, you said he set himself a target of five goals. He's got another one here. And RSL and the fans have the response they wanted. They pull level. Lovely turn from Ryusi again. Wolf, he finds the pocket of space further forward. Driving centrally, looking for options, goes for goal! And that is what we've seen. One world-class strike already. How about that one from Owen Wolf? They just backed off him, invited him to shoot. He took the invite. And Stephen got a hand to it, but he couldn't keep it out. Passe has scored and Houston lead. Over the line, but only just. It means so much more as well. His first potential win. They're in behind here. A second goal would probably seal it at this stage. Kanaskia. Herrera. The pace on the ball out wide. Ball play back inside. It's a second goal. Well, they brought him in to deliver in the big moments, and Hector Herrera might have just sealed a massive three points here for Houston Dynamo. I'll tell you what, we saw a lovely bit of skill from Apoku as well, didn't we? To just sidestep the defender. Poor play out of the back here from Paz. And a chance to go for goal again, and no mistake on this one. A super hit from a man very much in form. Tillman yet again, and what a signing he's proven to be for LAFC. I'm not sure how some people would feel about your top scorer being that far away from goal on a set piece opportunity. Free kick delivered in, flick header from Jimenez, back in a second chance, it's in! Safari, the centre back gets forward! LAFC didn't deal with the initial ball, and the unlikeliest of goal scorers might have helped Dallas pick up the most unlikely of results.
Not letting them break their lines and get too many entry balls into the 18. Well, same pass, flaps at it, Bawanga. Might have time to steady himself here. Whips over by getting it! So much power on the head from Bawanga! Difficult angle, doesn't matter to that man. Denny Bawanga off the bench, on the score sheet. Broadcast analyst Bradley Wright Phillips, 20 goals. At the end. Omala from distance, and the goalkeeper's spilled ahead of the rebound, smashed on. Yakimaki's supposed to react. But you'd have to say that's going to go down as a goalkeeper error from Coronel. Vicious hit from Almada. First yeah, angle. Yeah. More importantly, you're just trying to whip the ball, have it an in-swinger, obviously. Don't put it into a threatening area, get some runs across the box, kind of confuse the keeper. The run-up suggests he is going to go for goal. He does! It's in! Hector Herrera has opened the scoring! There was never a doubt in his mind he was going for goal. And Houston star midfielder has struck again. No player in MLS history has scored a penalty in four straight games. Amin Bassi has the opportunity to do just that. From the penalty spot, he cracked his trick! Four in a row! He doubled the Dynamo lead! And what a performance from the host again! LA Galaxy's start of the season. On the turn, with good pressure from Herrera. The two Mexican internationals going at it. They won't want to lose to each other, and uh, they force the turnover. And that generates one of the biggest cheers of the night. Fans were loving every second of that. Baird, pull back. Bassi! It's gone again! Lethal from the penalty spot. Even better from the edge of the box. Two of the night for him. But early signs just of what the different ways that Atlanta will look to try to get at you, whether it's going over the top, whether it's passing you to death, or finding moments of transition to really strike. Brooks Lemon goes across to take this one. At the end, right, the six. The header, oh, targeted in! Oh, it's a super delivery! And Jorgis Yakamakis, he cannot stop scoring! Mark Anthony K or even Bernadette coming in off that right hand side. That's how you can get in behind that first wave of pressure from Atlanta United. Bernadette, the ball for Larea, good run from him. Perusa going one side. Larea going to Larea! Oh my! Richie Larea just comes him open and scores with a stunner to run to the level. Back for Sosa. Joel comes back for Gutman. Oh, lovely one, Roger. It looked like he was actually going to go for goal, but fooled everybody. Good cross! The header! In! Match up Joel with his very first ever that's goal! And what a moment to get it! Both subs playing their part in the build up. A harsh part of management, right? You have to find ways to still get the best out of the player that you have at your disposal, and, and to be fair, a little bit of space here. Ball pulled back inside the area. Yeah! At the death, Toronto have found a leveler. Small details that they're just not executing on just yet. Carranza, really good running behind. Good cross. It's going to fall for Gazdag. What a save. Johnson and it's off to the defender and in. Well, that one spell, Toronto, but it's Union back on top here. Another long ball. And that one, is it kept in play or not? Right on the line, Sean Johnson. Perhaps wishes he didn't keep it in right now. But Doya, far post. Oh, it's taking another deflection. They have a second goal. Sean Johnson absolutely furious. But the Union players celebrate. They double the lead. Bernadeschi, good challenge from Elliott. Bedoya, nice turn, has that again, Ua, I think he's going to be onside, racing in on goal, Sean Johnson against Ua, and there's no mistake, Philly have absolutely destroyed Toronto FC in this first half.
and not allow Philly to extend their lead to four. Okay, running into pressure. Giving away again, and these are the areas that guys like Carranza and Ua have absolutely destroyed. Toronto ball towards the back post, and it's in again. Who has got his hat trick? Those three are just as good as any front three in Major League Soccer. 4 0. Any lingering doubt that Toronto FC could come back in has been extinguished. Insigne, little reverse ball in behind. Quejo making the run. Franklin and uh, both he and Insigne got in each other's way. Insigne looking for the return, gets in behind! Vintage Lorenzo Insigne. Now, it may not affect the overall outcome of this game, but a little taster of maybe what's to come this season for Toronto with this man back in the side. Osorio. All played back inside, little ball for Larea. And he's found the corner, second week in a row he's scored. Really well hit from the right back. Too little for this one, but positive signs for the future for Toronto with how they've responded in this second half. Nice ball forward, Stefanelli from Aski. Little flick for Campana, he's in behind, Go. The scoring drought on the road is over. Stefanelli with a super ball, but Kramaski, the youngster, who's been lively since minute one, a super little header. Talk to us about was, I like getting lots of players forward. That's what we're seeing here. Yeboa trying to get in behind. He gets beyond Yedlin, yeah, gets a pull back in. Well, it's cleared by Kamal Miller. Not far enough, though. Cucho Hernandez opens up on his right foot. Called effort! Welcome back, Cucho! Against the run of play, but a much better spell there for Mitch of Miami. What a kick to Levere, Campana! He's got a second! He just rose at that near post and powered it home! It was the absence of João Paulo that many felt led to the Sounders ending that streak of playoff positions. Chaloui back to the edge of the box, Kelly Kinder inside the area, and an opening goal for Sporting KC! Tommy timed his run to perfection. And the issues in front of goal are over for now, and what a perfect start for Peter Vermees' men. 1-0. Allowed Reed Baker winding to get forward too, so... Let's see how SKC react. It's their fullback getting forward now, Davis. Ball inside for Tommy. Tries to play that ball in behind, well paced! Chance to go for goal, it's a double! Alan Polito's long wait for a goal is over, and SKC... Belying the current form and position in the league. Nico Ladero without a goal in Major League Soccer so far this season. Not anymore. Sends Melia the wrong way. And he has the Sounders right back in this one. Up against Lennon. Back to his left foot. Cole Cross. Over everybody, Westwood's going to chase this one down. Lindsay. Westwood. Good cross, over the head of Bender. Man about the far post! The former Atlanta United winger decides not to celebrate. But it's an all-important opening goal from Charlotte. And it's the away fans that are in absolute raptures right now. First time from the spot for Charlotte FC. But a big moment in this match, a big moment in this rivalry as well. Svinerski against Westberg from the penalty spot. And he sends the keeper the wrong way. And he doubles the lead for Charlotte. What a start to the second half. The Benz is stunned. You're chasing a game. You want one of your best players, your DP striker, on the pitch. But what do you, what's more important, the long term or potentially the short term games in this game? Lindsay playing that ball in behind you. via cross. It's another goal. It's Murray again. Well, that's the pick of the bunch for Charlotte. And their fans are absolutely in dreamland right now. Uh, and a 
it looked like Christian Latanzi was trying to have a conversation. Now he's pointing back towards him on the bench. Corner kick. Lantern, another flick out of this one's in. Late drama, and now a real melee to get that ball back. And Parata was the man who got the final touch. And Lantern have a goal, and they have a glimmer of hope. Move it up, Gaddis. Badgie, a little bit of daylight in behind. Still Badgie, going for that inline, gets his cross in, and it's in! Lutra Acosta with the finish! Well, that goal is all about Badgie. Driving for the end line, pulls it back. And FC Cincinnati have the opening goal. One for two this season. Lucho Acosta against Schulte. <laughs> FC Cincinnati have doubled the lead, and what a start for the hosts. Here is Cucho, and good play from who else? Lucho Acosta back defending. Another issue, <laughs> I mean, Acosta has done everything, absolutely everything in this first half. I think he's played the role of about eight positions. There is a chance inside the area. Cucho gets the cross in, and they're back in it. Lucas Celerae. The Crew's deadly duo strikes back. 2-1. Nice little flick, Nagby. Again, as you mentioned, going more advanced. Nice little pullback for Farsi. Whipped in delivery. All the way to the far post and well hit. Salatana drops it and the rebound smashed down. The Crew have come storming back. Amundsen quickest to react after the ball came off the chest of Celentano. Ball played back and it's the second time we've seen Schulte take too long on the ball. Back for Vasquez, back across, Cuba's first touch and it's in. Moreno makes no mistake. But it's the goalkeeping mistake that has cost the crew here. FC Cincinnati have struck again, they're back in front. Only been better on three different occasions in the history of this league. Richard Hernandez coming forward. And Munson has been in good goal scoring form since arriving. Yeboah from distance, on his left foot! What a hit! Inside 90 seconds! Yeboah has found the top corner! Staying close to Schulte. Goalkeeper. Just some push. Bumbury right in front of the delivery. And it's Fata Pinko at the far post. He stormed in and has brought national level. I make it really difficult for the goalkeeper. Love it. Whipped in that area. from Nashville. Yeboah, and he's injured, and he's at the pull out of that challenge. And now, daylight for Mukta. Morris tracking back in. And he Mukta. Up against Morris. Step overs. Mukta! Yes! That's why he's the reigning MVP. The icing on the cake for Nashville, and a message sent. Manial towards an impose save and the rebound smashed home. And he is quick as to react and FC Cincinnati have the opening goal. Andrew Singh made the initial save, really good piece of goalkeeping. But it's FC Cincinnati that reacts sharply. Morea, Mike for Rosted who lets it bounce. He's going to go back to Ranjiting. Kubo trying to press him. Not a good ball from the goalkeeper. Angulo, Lucho Acosta! 2 0! Fifth straight home game that Lucho Acosta's found the back of the net. One of the top tens in Major League Soccer once again delivers. 
seeing the pressure come in from Abika. Oh. oh, what a ball. And Abaji gets in behind, in on goal. This could see that! Abaji! 3 0! This time Acosta is the architect. He goes across and high fives Pat Noonan. He might have just sealed a piece of MLS history for FC Cincinnati. Escante. Nice ball over the top. Good overlapping run from Gallagher. Back on his favourite right foot. Pulls that ball back. Chance to deliver. Zonas gets a flick! And it's Finley at the far post. And for now the flag stands down. And Austin FC have the opening goal. This one might be close. Lima. Carrera. Fagundes lively beginning from him. Triusi towards the far post. Zonas! If those two can combine to that kind of effect throughout the season, Austin FC can be a contender. Second assist for Driussi and second in a week for Jesse Zardes. Either way, they get a corner. Pereira, Gallagher, back for Pereira. Good movement is from Austin on this left-hand side cross towards the far post. Header on target and in. Cascante gets the third goal. And Houston in real trouble now. This is more like the Austin we expected this season. And Cleveland never saved a penalty in Major League Soccer. Christian Espinosa, three for three this year. Can he give the Earthquakes the lead from the spot? He can! As he just squeezes it into the bottom corner. Cleveland went the right way, but there was so much venom on the hit, he couldn't keep it out. And San Jose Earthquakes have the opening goal. in response to what's been a, a lackluster second half. Ball back to the edge. Trump goal! Oh! What a goal! What an absolute scorcher from the Peruvian international! Like an arrow into the corner. No chance for Cleveland. And San Jose have doubled the lead in the most spectacular fashion. Aspria, a chance to try to get on the end of something here. And the last time he went over everybody to Bravo, this time in the mix, Schulte flaps at it, Bravo, second opportunity, still not cleared, chance to go for goal, back across for Espria, it's in! <laughs> Dyer on Espria makes absolutely no mistake, powers one home, and a goal that Portland badly needed as well, they lead. He's back in the house tonight and, and generate a more positive performance. It can, but I also think, oh, what a touch. And he's got spray on the far side. Aspria is in on goal again. Chance for his second. Aspria! He makes no mistake! The first one was all about power. That was a cool, calculated finish by Dyer on Aspria. He doubles Portland's lead. But defensively, he's leaving some massive gaps on that right-hand side. Parsi, Zellerayan, up against Chara. Zellerayan getting the better of Chara. Lovely little give and go. Zellerayan, round the goalkeeper. Zellerayan scores! Individual brilliance by Lucas Zellerayan has brought Columbus crew back into this one. I don't think you can state that enough because to go into a break, a long spell away from. Oh, hold that thought, Moreira! From distance, it's Zellerayan again! Two goals of the highest quality has dragged this side out of a two goal hole and has them back level. Just really clever the positions he takes up and then his movement off the ball. Mosquera getting advanced, getting his cross in. Paredes takes a touch. The ball played in, Chara, and Mora, Blanco, has finished it. Well, it looked like nobody wanted to go for a goal. Blanco took it upon himself. The jersey's off, the celebrations begin. And Paul in the back in front. Better from the Sounders. And now they leave themselves open to the counter. 
to Durango. Wasowski. Durango in between two. And it's off the line initially. But the rebound is smashed down. And Oracelo the opening goal. And again, they're looking for that counter. It's Reagan against Chicho Arango. Reagan backing off. Chicho Arango into the penalty area. Going one way, going the other. Trying to cut it on. Goes for the goal. He scores. Absolute brilliance from Chicho Arango. On the opposite end, yep. where it wasn't called either, so. Julio, he's giving them trouble. Rubio Rubin on the turn, left foot it out. Super goal, super performance. RSL are red hot right now. The rest of the field in League's Cup, be warned. This team means business. Played as a left wing back, Seba Vegas as a left centre back. Today he gets. The not at left back, lovely touch from Igede. Maxi Mesa in behind. Maxi Mesa could go for goal. It's off the defender and in. The first real attack from Rayados, and it was a clinical one. Glad is distraught as the ball goes in off him, but it's all about Maxi Mesa. Super run, and Monterey are in front. So well positioned that when the ball turns over, more times than not, they're either putting out the fire or they're winning the ball back in transition. And it could get a lovely ball back to Nava. RSL been giving a lesson on the counter-attack here early on. What a ball across, and Berterami, the man we showcased as the striker to watch, delivers. Rayados have doubled the lead. Mesa whipped in, and Beaver's in no man's land, and Berterami finishes again. It's a double for him, and it's just been a classic away performance in international competition tonight from Rayados. 3-0, and that should seal the three points. I was in a conversation with Leon. I think he might have... Well, I thought he talked his way onto it. Instead, Leon comes back and plays that ball for Alvarez. Sits up nicely. Alvarez! Through the hands of Schulte, and in! Piece of quick thinking from Leon that set it all up. And Alvarez smashes it home. America take the lead. He's going to stay a little bit higher at times, occupy the two center backs, and that gives Cucho more freedom to go and find the game. Moreira. Moreira still going. Cucho in a goal! 1-1! Absolutely clinical from Cucho Hernandez! Hernandez from the spot, and he sends the keeper the wrong way. And he gets his second of the night, and Columbus crew have come all the way back. They lead by two goals to one. Uh, nice ball in behind Amundsen. Advanced, whipped in, delivery, Molino, just on Gressel, pulls it back, and it's in! Ramirez on hand! Columbus have three! And it looks like they're on the way to the top of the standings. What a comeback after conceding early. What a performance. 3-1. Well, now you're getting that validation, and you're seeing it come to fruition. Not just an MLS play now. Oh, and here's a run in behind again. Real opportunity. Jason Russell Rose central. It's in Moreno's going to go. Oh, what a finish. What an absolutely stunning goal. And encapsulates the freedom of the way these players can express themselves on the Wilfred Nancy. Leo Suarez. America fans finding their voices again. And the Bediemen comfortably dealt with at that near post. Suarez will have a second opportunity. Again, the ball delivery! And I think he's going to for the bend at last. It's going to be an own goal. And Club America have the opening goal. Of Danny Bowanga. A chance to break now. Odaz 
Paul Bogus is going to find his feet instead. He goes a little bit longer. Denny Barwonga's in behind. Gets beyond Brownie. Denny Barwonga! It's a super individual goal from a man who's been red hot since the round of 32. Three against Juarez. And a stunning effort to put LAFC in front here tonight. Constant work rate. But LAFC are doing a better job now of utilizing that 3v2 in midfield. Oh. And a giveaway. And it's good. He has been unstoppable in the one and a half League Cup games he's played so far. Glad holds his head. He might have just handed LAFC a ticket to the quarterfinals. Hillier. The third goal really would kill it off. Palacios, Boanga near post, and the touch is home for Modas. Two and two for the youngster, three for LAFC. And they can start making the plans for the quarterfinal now. Rampant to begin this second half. Are giving the ball away in that situation there, leading to these counter opportunities. We have a runner down the middle, Odaz made a really good run on the left. Krastev inside the area, could go for goal, takes an deflection, it's in. The new man is off the mark, it's 4 0 LAFC, and they're putting a marker down tonight. Anunga trying to play that one forward for Bunbury. Schaffelberg. Schaffelberg whipped in. And that was off the back of Mantel. Far posted in. Schaffelberg goes in from fullback. And he had the simplest of tasks in the end. So Minnesota have had a dreadful few minutes. A man down. And now find themselves a goal down as well. So it's back on his left foot. Tram clears to Anunga at the edge of the penalty area. McCarty. Love it. Schaffelberg. Schaffelberg again trying to create mayhem. Cross towards the far post. The header back in. Bunbury off to defender. Bunbury has a second chance. It's in. 2 0. Peel Bunbury just out muscle the centre back. And he powered that one home. Nashville with one foot in the semi finals. Really close out the game early on, then he can really rest a few players. Mokar, the delivery, header in! They didn't have to wait too long for that third goal. Alex Moyle attacked it so well, but it was that delicious delivery from Hani Mokhtar. I said one foot in the semi-finals, they're all in now. Nashville currently fourth in the very competitive Eastern Conference as well, so... Got a good start to this, although form was a little bit mixed before this began. Another ball in behind, Schaffelberg! And that one's going to go for Serge, it's four. Flagstairs down. It's an absolute rout now. And what a ball from Dax McCarty to set everything off. Love it. Mokhtar. Good football again. Mokhtar in behind. Mokhtar! It's in. He absolutely roofs it. Sensation in football from Nashville. They have five on the night. Vasquez making a run inside. Ball back for Acosta, edge of the penalty area, twisting and turning, still has it. Plays Holsey, and a big save, and the rebound is passed down. Bupenza could not miss. Such a threatening position in that left wing back role has been lively from minute one. His effort brought the save from Barraza. But Bupenza on hand to get his second MLS goal. Murphy, Acosta, Vasquez, Acosta. Vasquez goes down, play continues. Moreno, Acosta, Bupenza at the far post. Acosta could go himself. Acosta cuts back, plays it back. Moreno 2 0. What a stunning team goal from FC Cincinnati. Moreno involved earlier in the play, and he just played that trailing run to perfection. Across with Lucho Acosta. He goes short for Acosta. Looked in delivery, header, in! 
Haglund with a pinpoint finish. Where on earth was the marking from NYCFC? Nick Haglund has sealed it. FC Cincinnati with a perfect response to the most difficult week of their season, 3-0. Nicola Dera, Albert Rusnak was actually across, just having a word and perhaps offering his services, but it's going to be Ladera towards an air puzzle. Flick! It's in! The Tanners have scored! Jordan Morris looks to have got the final touch, but it's all about that delivery from Nico Ladero. Catches Austin napping, and Seattle have that vital opening goal. I'm happy with something he saw. Memo Rodriguez whipped in towards an post flick, and the back post is in! Griussi celebrating, the goal is given, and Austin on level. And this time, I don't think there is any doubt, it's over the... Ladero, knew who, is he going to cross? No, he's going to pull it back for Ladero. Ladero whipped in delivery, that one takes a reflection on fully cleared, second opportunity, Rosnack is in! Albert Rosnack absolutely powers that one home! And the Sounders go ahead again with just seconds remaining here at Q2 Stadium. Big moment tonight, and perhaps a big moment in the season for both of these. Now break on for NYCFC. Rodriguez, Bakra trying to get in behind. Ball played in for Bakra. Bakra in a goal! He scored! Two and two for the new number nine. Back row at one end. Ryan Gold with the chance to respond. Gold against Freeze. And it's a super penalty. Keeper filled, he goes the wrong way. And for Vancouver, who struggled all afternoon going forward, respond quickly to going 1 0 down. Game off. Lovely turn from Blam in the middle of midfield. And both have the ability to play past the street. Stroud with a very good run. Flag says down, ball played across. A dinner inside, scores. A super break from midfield. Stroud just caught that backline napping. And a dinner in continuing his red hot form. Although the Galaxy protests continue, they felt he was offside. Cuevas. AZ now with a little bit of space to run into a dinner in. His 1v1 central, if he can find him a dinner in. Going a little bit to the left now. AZ going down the middle. And instead he's gone for Klaus, Klaus with an opportunity, through the legs of the goalkeeper, and that is as good of a transition goal as you'll see all season. St. Louis City just carved LA Galaxy open, they've doubled the lead in spectacular fashion. Big moment in the match, Ricky Pooch against Roman Berkey. Pooch to get LA Galaxy back in this one, and he does! Superbly hit, Berkey went the right way, Mono got a hand to it as well. It doesn't matter, Galaxy are on the board. They've cut the deficit in half, they're back in it. And they brought on a man who can conjure up some magic from set piece situations. The cross was a far post, header across and in! Sharp with the final touch! We talked about his goal scoring ability in England. Fox in the box, they call him. Billy Sharp has struck again, 2-2, and game on, late on here at Dignity Health Sports Park. In the aim, Villa. Palacios, Buwanga in a menacing position. Palacios towards Buwanga! The opening goal! He just ghosted into space and nobody went with him. And Danny Buwanga is back and all is good again for LAFC. He has been red hot, and you knew in the moment of need they would go to him, and he's delivered. Let's see the response. A little ball in behind. Billy Sharp on it down! What a finish! What a response from LA Galaxy! Straight from the kickoff, and Billy Sharp. Bellini, Vela. Hollings had actually worked out. Hollings had! What a finish! The most inadvertent of assists from Carlos Vela and Ryan Hollings head. How many times has he delivered from fullback? A scorcher from distance. And they have to back in front.
Fernandez lost it up. Little flick! It's in! 2-2! We're level again, and it's Yoshida who stepped forward on the set piece, who reacted the quickest. LAFC for all the dominance, cotton napping defensively. To regain that confidence. Billy Sharp gets a start, scores a goal. Will Yoblich comes into a game where he can play the hero role if he can find the game winner in this match? The ball in behind again, Mavinga again having to come across quickly. Not a good back pass. Bowanga's around the goalkeeper. Bowanga scores. An absolute gift from LA Galaxy. And Bowanga is the happy recipient in front of 32 52. And for the third time tonight, LAFC lead. Gonzalez, good step from Yoshida. Referee allowing play to continue. Kirlini wins it back the other way. And now the break is on. Just two defenders back. Gonzalez, Boyango on one side. Tillman going down the middle. Tillman seals it. The Galaxy have sent everybody forward to get themselves back in this game. And they're caught napping defensively. And Tillman just slices through. Taylor, back for Allen. Allen with the cross, and well, the ball's got full clearance for Ayers. Has absolutely rifled it into the top corner. The ball just sat up for Fagundo for Ayers, and he couldn't have hit this one any better. Goes off. Avalanche trying to play that ball too. There's the kind of run you talked about from Farias. They're listening to you. Allen, Taylor, edge of the penalty area. Still Taylor, still going around. Taylor! Oh my word! Absolutely stunning from a man who's hit the heights of form since Lionel Messi's arrival. Taylor. Will be replaying his goal all week after coming on for Messi. Campana, lovely touch. Kramaski, he's got options out wide. Campana staying central. Kramaski continuing his run. Kramaski with a chance. Oh, it's a super goal. The youngster right at the heart of it. What a future this young man has. Campana. Farias. Farias. A little chip in behind. Another opportunity. It's another goal. Yeah. <laughs> Robert Taylor just cannot stop scoring. Top class goals. Taylor. And uh, just not on the same page there as Kramaskiu. Certainly hasn't had that impact going forward he had the other night. Campana. A little ball in behind. Joseph Martinez. First time. Big save. And Inter Miami the first to react, and they have the opening goal. It looks like Inter Miami did exactly the same, not giving him an inch. Oh, Holson. Ojeda. Ojeda gets the return. Ojeda in behind. Robert Taylor gets back in. Falls from Maguire through the legs of Gallagher. And in. Duncan Maguire onto it like a flash. And a land a level. Game on. Irvin, and Dineran in! It's a super header from Sava Dineran! That near post free kick caught everybody napping defensively for SKC. And Sava Dineran cannot stop scoring. What a season, what a goal and what a moment for St. Louis. And it's not just a goal and what it means for your team. Yes, the potential for another win, but... Putting another nail on that SKC playoff coffin, and they're in trouble here again. Stroud trying to make absolutely sure. Stroud did it! They played themselves into it, SKC. They were all over the place defensively. And Stroud is off the bench. And on the score sheet, 2-0. Ooh, Rosero playing, oh. <laughs> playing with fire, but doing it well.
And a dinner in, Rosero. And he flicks it out, and the ball back for Klaus! 3-0! It's raining goals at City Park! Number one in the West, with an exclamation point tonight! Stroud. A dinner in. Joaquini going central. Said he goes out wide. Leuven. Stroud. Klaus. Klaus and a drive oh. foul! Oh my! That may be the pick of the bunch from Klaus. A stunning goal! And just gives it away cheaply in Dembe. Well, if you're. That's KC, how do you regroup from this? Shalloway. On that one blocked by Lewinsky. Cross towards the far post. Headed in. So the clean sheet is gone. SKC have a consolation. But that is all it will be. Zimmerman. The last time he made that step, he created an opportunity. Santos. Coming narrow, but that's a nice ball out wide. Barrera, Maguire making a run in behind. Ojeda, Ojeda, Maguire! It's it! Clinical counter attack from Orlando. Super cross, and the finish was exquisite. In off the post, and Orlando have the opening goal right on the stroke of half time. Walker well, bounced, but he kept it in play well. Zawadzki. Good, good run from midfield, Morris. Wrong side, Rossetti trying to make the challenge. Kucho! A goal that's been coming for Columbus Crew. And who else? Kucho Hernandez. Clinical. Can Atlanta rescue a point at the death? Almada delivered in! And that's the level! With absolutely no time left on the clock, Miles Robertson has stolen a point for the hosts! What a moment! And Kamungo is really high and advanced on this right hand side so far. Good stab. Oh. All right, and again he's played him in. Kamungo is onside. What a ball with the goalkeeper! What a start for Dallas! Twice he's threatened in that same position. This time he punishes that high LA Galaxy defensive line. Dallas lead. Aston are off the mark in that one, so it's not a bad result for Dallas at all. Little chip in here for Pomacal, little flick. Ferreira, lots of space. Driven in, another big save from Mitrovic. Dumasi on the rebound, smashed him. Oh my word, what a hit. Dumasi absolutely rifled that one home. FC Dallas taking care of business, 2-0. FC Dallas. Pass in, I think this one's going to be kept in by Edwards, it is. Edwards, trying to go live, still going, it's oh. good! Well, he caught four on Mackin and then passed right to Cheek. And it was the cheekiest of finishes from Raheem Edwards. The goal of that one is blocked by Alfaro. Nice little ball in behind here for Ferreira, good cross, header in! The Galaxy are just all over the place defensively. Kamungo just ghosted into the six-yard box, and what a delivery that is from Ferreira as well. The two-goal cushion is restored. The energy, the appetite between... Pat More conversations with the Dallas bench and the fourth official. Lovely ball in behind, Ariola making a good run, Aubryan on the far post, Aubryan mishits, but he gets it at the second attempt. Kamungo off, but Aubryan in his position does exactly what kamungo has been doing for minute one, attacks base and makes no mistake. Dallas have been rampant in this first half, forward. Is okay after a little bit of attention, so Bella will have another opportunity from a corner. This one towards the far post. Takeo going to save. The rebound's in. Ryan Hollingshead. How many times does he deliver a big moment for LAFC? A defender by trade. But inside that six-yard box, he is a killer.
Salah. LAFC with the opening goal. A patient approach here from LAFC, maybe to your point about trying to slow things down, but they've given it away. Ball in behind, White chance to go for goal. Goal inside, White goes alone, and he's leveled things up. LAFC played themselves into that disastrous situation, but Brian White, one of the most clinical strikers in Major League Soccer this season, has delivered again. We're level. But an unnecessary mistake, and these are the margins we talk about, especially during the playoffs. Can you punish the mistake of your opponent? And Bowanga trying to punish the mistake the other way. Danny Bowanga comes inside. Danny Bowanga! No better striker in Major League Soccer. Rifle that one into the top corner. LAFC with the perfect response. Left foot of Ryan Gold, the outswinger, the option. Veselinovic right in the middle of things. Gold, and Akuma! It's 2 2 the level again! Nobody near Sam Adakube, and it was just a pinpoint error in the bottom corner. What a first half at BMO Stadium! Bogush towards the far post. The header back, Murillo, Buwanga, left foot, that one takes a deflection, not clear, it's in. They've left him free again. The man for the big occasion, Ryan Hollingshead, has got his second of the match. But Vancouver will be kicking themselves with how they've defended another set piece. Yeah, yellow's good enough in a match like this. Buwanga, through everybody, under the goalkeeper. They have their fourth. He struck it well, but it's one Takeoka will one pack the goalkeeper. For the first time tonight, they have a two-goal cushion LAFC. And it comes after the best spell in this second half. Corner with that! Oh. Off the other side of the bar and in. He was close last time, Mario. This time it was a bull pivotal moment in this series against Takaoka. They give LAFC the lead on the road, and he's done it. Powers home, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And this a contentious penalty given, but Denny Bawanga takes full advantage. 1-0. Kucho on the turn. Ramirez making the run further forward. Farsi opens up, could go for goal here if he wants to. Instead he goes for Rossi. And again, excellent defending by Araujo. Good win back by Morris, they've given it away. Now he's in behind, can he get the cross in? It's off the goalkeeper, it's in! Christian Ramirez with the instant impact off the bench and the crew lead! Valese, Smith coming in on his favourite right foot, delivers that one in for Halson, instead it's Schaberko. And now there's a lot of space, and Galassi is off his line, and a chance from the halfway line. And Kucha knows where that was going. Right down the middle, into the back of the net. And Columbus crew are off to the conference final.